My name is Calum Graham and I'm very happy to be here with Elixir Strings today to show you a technique that I use which involves using the heel of your right hand to make a kick drum sound above the sound hole and once you've got that we're going to do a strum with our index and then we're going to go up with our thumb and the wrist is kind of creating this motion almost like you're turning a doorknob so we're going to strum down and then strum up, down, up. So we're gonna do kick, strum down, strum up, then our thumb is gonna simply be placed on the strings to get this percussive tap or snare sound. Kick, strum, snare. And now after that snare, try adding another strum down and up, and then we're gonna repeat that. Kick, strum, snare, strum, kick, strum, snare. Now let's spice that up a little bit by adding a chord. Now with our left hand we're going to do maybe an A minor chord and then go to an E minor chord and then to a D minor and then back to A. And for this little example, I came up with this riff, but feel free to come up with your own. Starting on the second fret of the third string, and then to the open B string, then our first finger on the first fret to play C, then our third finger on the third fret to play D, and then back to C, open B, and then C. And for the right hand, I'm simply using I, M, I, M. So try that. So we're gonna play the lick and then we're gonna go into the percussive tap and the rhythm that we've built up already. So let's try that. spice that up a little bit maybe we can play so you can try that if you like so there you go there's a little introduction to get you acquainted with this technique if you've never used it before if you'd like to find me on social media, I'm at Calum Graham Music. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.